Section. Introduction. We're going to talk about large language models, LLMs, which are now commonly used in various applications, from natural language processing to more general tasks. These models have shown excellent performance, especially when they are fine-tuned for specific tasks. This process of first training a model and then fine-tuning it has led to the creation of many fine-tuned versions of a single base LLM, each designed for a specific task or domain. However, when we try to fine-tune a base model for many tasks, like personalized assistance, the costs of training and serving can become quite high. To solve this problem, several efficient fine-tuning methods have been developed. One of these is low-rank adaptation, LoRa, which allows for efficient fine-tuning by only updating low-rank additive matrices. These matrices have a small number of parameters, known as adapter weights. LoRa has shown that by just fine-tuning these adapter weights, we can achieve performance similar to full-weight fine-tuning. However, there's still a question that hasn't been fully explored. How do we serve these fine-tuned models at scale? The LoRa paper introduced a way to eliminate adapter inference latency by merging the adapter with the model parameters. It also suggested a way to support multiple models on a single machine by swapping adapters. But this approach has its limitations, especially when serving multiple adapters at the same time. In this paper, we're going to look at how to serve thousands of LoRa adapters on a single machine. We've noticed that the shared base model, which is used by many LoRa adapters, provides a great opportunity for batched inference. To achieve high-throughput multi-adapter serving, it's beneficial to separate the base model computation from individual LoRa computations. But this presents several challenges, such as efficient memory management, the development of new computation kernels, and the need for novel parallelism strategies. To address these challenges, we introduce S-LoRa, a scalable LoRa serving system. S-LoRa takes advantage of batching opportunities, efficiently manages both host and GPU memory, and orchestrates parallelism across multiple GPUs. It introduces a unified memory pool to reduce memory fragmentation and increase batch size, employs custom CUDA kernels to minimize latency overhead, and introduces a novel tensor parallelism strategy to ensure effective parallelization across multiple GPUs. We've tested S-LoRa by serving various models and found that it can serve thousands of LoRa adapters on a single GPU or across multiple GPUs with a small overhead. Compared to other fine-tuning libraries and serving systems, S-LoRa can significantly enhance throughput and increase the number of served adapters. Now, let's talk about low-rank adaptation, LoRa, in more detail. LoRa is a method designed to adapt pre-trained large language models to new tasks in a parameter-efficient way. The idea behind LoRa is that model updates during adaptation have a low intrinsic dimensionality. During the training phase, LoRa keeps the weights of a pre-trained base model the same and adds trainable low-rank matrices to each layer. This approach significantly reduces the number of trainable parameters and memory consumption. For the inference phase, the original paper suggests merging the low-rank matrices with the weights of the base model, which means there's no added overhead during inference. This makes LoRa different from previous adapters or prompt tuning methods. In mathematical terms, for a pre-trained weight matrix W, LoRa introduces the update as W equals W plus AB, where A and B are matrices and the rank R is much less than the minimum of the dimensions of W if the forward pass of a base model is defined by H equals XW. Then after applying LoRa, the forward pass becomes H equals XW. This adjustment is typically only applied to certain matrices in the self-attention module, not the feed-forward module. Because LoRa greatly reduces the training and weight storage costs, it has been widely adopted by the community, and people have created hundreds of thousands of LoRa adapters for pre-trained large language models and diffusion models. Section Summary Large language models, LLMs, have become widely used in various applications, and fine-tuning these models for specific tasks has proven to be effective. However, Serving multiple fine-tuned variants of a base LLM concurrently can lead to reduced serving throughput and increased latency. In this paper, the authors propose S-LoRa, a scalable serving system that efficiently manages memory, employs optimized CUDA kernels for batched inference, and introduces a novel tensor parallelism strategy to serve thousands of LoRa adapters on a single machine or across multiple GPUs, significantly improving throughput compared to existing methods. Section serving large language models we're going to talk about how to handle large language models llms 
which are typically based on the transformer architecture. These models can have anywhere from billions to trillions of parameters, which means they can take up a lot of space, from gigabytes to terabytes. This makes working with LLMs computationally and memory intensive. When we use these models, we first encode the prompt, then decode the output one piece at a time. This step-by-step -step process can be slow. Because each piece of the output depends on all the pieces that came before it, we need to store all the previous pieces. We call this storage the KV cache. This process makes decoding more memory intensive than computation intensive. These challenges become even more noticeable when we're dealing with online settings, where requests of different lengths come in dynamically. To handle these dynamic requests, we use a method called ORCA, which schedules tasks at the token level instead of the request level. This allows us to continuously add new requests to the current batch, which significantly increases throughput. We further optimize memory efficiency using a method called page detention. This method borrows concepts from virtual memory and paging and operating systems to manage the storage and access of dynamic KV cache tensors in a paged manner. This reduces fragmentation, allowing for larger batch sizes and higher throughput. When we're dealing with very large models that exceed the memory capacity of a single GPU, or when we have strict latency requirements, we need to spread the model across multiple GPUs. There are several ways to do this, including tensor parallelism, sequence parallelism, pipeline parallelism, and combinations of these methods. Now, let's talk about SLORA. This method has three main components. First, we have our batching strategy, which breaks down the computation between the base model and the LoRa adapters. We also tackle the challenge of request scheduling, which includes things like adapter clustering and admission control. Batching across concurrent adapters introduces new challenges around memory management. To address this, we use a method called unified paging, which supports dynamically loading LoRa adapters. This method uses a unified memory pool to store the KV caches and adapter weights in a paged manner reducing fragmentation and balancing the dynamic changing size of the KV caches and adapter weights. Finally, we introduce our new tensor parallelism strategy that allows us to efficiently separate the base model and LoRa adapters. Our batching strategy aims to support online and high-throughput serving of many LoRa adapters at the same time. For a single adapter, the recommended method is to merge the adapter weights into the base model weights, resulting in a new model. This has the advantage of no additional adapter overhead during inference, since the new model has the same number of parameters as the base model. However, when there are multiple adapters, merging the weights into the base model leads to multiple weight copies and missed batching opportunities. In this paper, we show that merging LoRa adapters into the base model is inefficient for the multi-LoRa high-throughput serving setting. Instead, we propose computing the LoRa computation on the fly. This avoids weight duplication and enables batching of the more costly operation. Unfortunately, directly implementing the factored computation of the base model and individual LoRa adapters using the batch GEM kernel from the existing BLOS libraries would require significant padding and result in poor hardware utilization. In S-LoRa, we batch the computation of the base model and then use custom CUDA kernels to execute the additional computation for all adapters separately. While the number of LoRa adapters can be large if we store them in main memory, the number of LoRa adapters needed for the currently running batch is manageable, because the batch size is bounded by the GPU memory. To take advantage of this, we store all LoRa adapters in the main memory and fetch only the LoRa adapters needed for the currently running batch to the GPU RAM when running the inference for that batch. To achieve high throughput serving, we adopt the iteration level scheduling batching strategy from Orca. In this approach, requests are scheduled at the token level. We immediately incorporate a new request into the running batch if space is available. The request will exit the batch once it reaches the maximum number of generated tokens or fulfills other stopping criteria. This process reduces GPU memory usage but introduces new memory management challenges. Section Summary Large language models, LLMs, based on the transformer architecture have billions to trillions of parameters, making LLM serving computationally and memory intensive. ORCA introduces fine-grained, iteration-level scheduling to accommodate dynamic requests, while VLLM optimizes memory efficiency using page detention. S-LoRa proposes a batching strategy that avoids weight duplication and enables efficient computation of the base model and LoRa adapters, while employing custom CUDA kernels for more efficient computation without padding.
Section. Adapter clustering. We're going to discuss three main strategies we've used to improve the efficiency of our system. Adapter clustering, admission control, and memory management. Let's start with adapter clustering. One way to boost efficiency is to limit the number of active adapters in a running batch. By doing this, we can allocate more memory to the key value, KV, cache, which can then handle larger batch sizes. This is particularly useful because graphics processing units, GPUs, which are often underused during decoding, have a lot of memory capacity. By increasing the batch size, we can make better use of these resources and increase throughput. We call this strategy, adapter clustering. However, it's important to note that this approach has its own trade-offs, such as potentially increasing average latency or affecting fairness among adapters. We'll delve into how throughput and latency change with cluster size in a later section. Next, let's talk about admission control. In our system, which we call S-LoRa, we've implemented an admission control strategy to maintain good performance when traffic exceeds system capacity. A serving system usually has a service level objective, slow, which is the desired processing time for requests. If the system has a fixed capacity, it needs an admission control mechanism to drop a request if it can't meet its slow. If no request is dropped and incoming requests exceed system capacity for a long period, the system will inevitably violate the slow. To mimic admission control in S-LoRa, we've implemented an early abort strategy. Essentially, we estimate the latest requests that we can process within the slow, and then process them in the order they arrived. We'll provide more details and mathematical justifications for this in a later section. Finally, let's discuss memory management. Serving multiple LoRa adapters at the same time presents new memory management challenges. To support many adapters, S-LoRa stores them in the main memory and dynamically loads the adapter weights needed for the current batch into the GPU's random access memory, RAM. This process presents two main challenges. Memory fragmentation, which results from dynamically loading and offloading adapter weights of various sizes, and the latency overhead introduced by loading and offloading adapters. To address these challenges, we propose a strategy called unified paging and a technique to overlap input-output (I/O) with computation by prefetching adapter weights. Unified paging is based on our observation that dynamic adapter weights are similar to dynamic KV caches in several ways. Both have variable sizes and operations, and both share a dimension size that can be leveraged to reduce fragmentation. Motivated by these similarities, we've extended the idea of paged attention to unified paging, which manages adapter weights in addition to the KV cache. Unified paging uses a unified memory pool to manage both KV cache and adapter weights. We allocate a large buffer for the memory pool, which uses all available space except for the space occupied by the base model weights and temporary activation tensors. Both KV caches and adapter weights are stored in this memory pool in a paged manner, with each page corresponding to a vector of the hidden dimension size. This approach significantly reduces fragmentation and ensures that adapter weights of various sizes can coexist with dynamic KV caches in a structured and systematic way. Although unified paging mitigates fragmentation, the I.O. overhead from loading and offloading remains a concern, especially when dealing with numerous or large adapters. The latency introduced by waiting to load these adapters can compromise system efficiency. To address this, we've introduced a dynamic prediction mechanism. While running the current decoding batch, we predict the adapters required for the next batch based on the current waiting queue. This allows us to prefetch and store them in available memory, reducing IO time for adapter swapping and keeping most of the adapters needed for the next batch already in place before running it. Section Summary To improve batching efficiency, one strategy is to reduce the number of active adapters in a batch, allowing for more memory allocation to the KV cache and larger batch sizes. However, this adapter clustering approach can negatively impact latency and fairness among adapters. In addition, S-LoRa implements an admission control mechanism called Early Abort Strategy to sustain good attainment when the traffic exceeds system capacity, and proposes unified paging to efficiently manage memory fragmentation and latency overhead introduced by adapter loading and offloading. By using a unified memory pool and prefetching adapters, S-LoRa optimizes memory usage and reduces I.O. time for adapter swapping. Section. Custom kernels for heterogeneous LoRa batching on non-contiguous memory. We've developed a unique approach to handle the issue of non-contiguous memory in the unified memory pool, where adapter weights are stored. 
To ensure efficient computations, we've created custom CUDA kernels that can manage varying ranks and sequence lengths in a non-contiguous memory layout for LoRa computations. In the initial stage, known as the prefill stage, the kernel manages a sequence of tokens and collects adapter weights of different ranks from the memory pool. We've named this kernel the Multi-Size Batched Gather Matrix Matrix Multiplication, MBGMM, which we've implemented using Triton with tiling. In the decode stage, the kernel deals with a single token and collects adapter weights of different ranks from the memory pool. We've named this kernel the Multi-Size Batched Gather Matrix Vector Multiplication, MBGMV. We've adapted this from Punica to support multiple ranks in a batch and more detailed memory gathering. We've also designed innovative tensor parallelism strategies for batched LoRa inference to support multi-GPU inference of large transformer models. Tensor parallelism is a popular method due to its simplicity in implementation and integration with existing systems. It can reduce the per-GPU memory usage and latency when serving large models. In our setting, the additional LoRa adapters introduce new weight matrices and matrix multiplications, which require new partition strategies. We've aligned the partition strategies of inputs and outputs of the added LoRa computation with those of the base model to minimize communication costs. We've used the Feed Forward module, two-layer MLP, to illustrate our partition strategy. This strategy can easily be adapted to the self-attention layer. The first weight matrix is column partitioned, and the second is row partitioned in the base model's Megatron LM partition strategy. An all-reduced communication is required to accumulate the partial sum from distributed devices. For the added LoRa computation, the matrices for the adapter of the first weight matrix are column partitioned. An all-gather operation is used to collect the intermediate results. The matrices for the adapter of the second weight are row partitioned and column partitioned. An all-reduce operation is used to sum up the intermediate results. The result from the LoRa computation is then added to that from the base model. We've also adapted the strategy from the two-layer MLP to the self-attention layer. We partition the head dimension of the self-attention layer. The query key value projection weight matrix and the output projection weight matrix are treated similarly to the first and second weight matrices in our example. In terms of communication and memory cost, let's denote the number of devices as n, the number of tokens as b, the hidden size as h, and the adapter rank as r. The communication cost of the base model is 1 all reduce, or twice the product of n1, b, and h divided by n. The communication cost of the added LoRa computation is 3 all gather for query, key, and value projections, and 1 all reduce for the output projection. This is equal to 5 times the product of n1, b, and r divided by n. Our strategy introduces negligible additional communication cost compared to the base model because the adapter rank is much smaller than the hidden size. This is achieved by carefully scheduling communications on the small intermediate tensors of LoRa computation and fusing communications with base models. In terms of memory usage, our strategy is optimal because we partition all weight matrices among all devices and there is no replicated weight matrix. We've evaluated the performance of S-LoRa on both synthetic and real production workloads. S-LoRa is built on top of light LLM, a single-model LLM serving system based on PyTorch and Triton. We've evaluated the scalability of S-LoRa by serving up to 2,000 LoRa adapters simultaneously and compared it with other strong baselines. We then performed ablation studies to verify the effectiveness of individual components. Section Summary The paper introduces custom CUDA kernels, MBGMM and MBGMV, for efficient batching of LoRa computations with varying ranks and sequence lengths in a non-contiguous memory layout. It also proposes novel tensor parallelism strategies and partition strategies to minimize communication costs and optimize memory usage in batched LoRa inference. The proposed strategies are evaluated on synthetic and real production workloads, demonstrating scalability and effectiveness. Section. Setup. We're examining the LAMA model series, a widely used open large language model. We're looking at five different model and adapter configurations, which are detailed in a table in the original paper. Our improvements can also be applied to other transformer-based architectures, like GPT-3 and POM. We're running tests on a variety of hardware setups, including single NVIDIA A10G GPUs with 24GB of memory, 
single A100 GPS with 40GB or 80GB of memory, and multiple A100 GPS with either 40GB or 80GB of memory. The host's main memory changes depending on the GPU setup, and can range from 64GB to 670GB. We'll demonstrate that our system, S LoRa, can efficiently scale the number of adapters, limited only by the available main memory. We're comparing several versions of S LoRa, Hugging Face PEFT, and VLLM. Hugging Face PEFT is a library for training and running models that are efficient in terms of parameters, but it lacks advanced batching and memory management. We've built a server using it that batches single adapter requests and switches adapter weights between batches. VLLMM Pact is a simple multi-model serving solution based on VLLM, a high-throughput serving system. Because VLLM doesn't support LoRa, we merge the LoRa weights into the base model and serve the multiple versions of the merged weights separately. To serve mLoRa adapters, we run MVLLM workers on a single GPU, where multiple workers are separate processes managed by NVIDIA MPS. We allocate the GPU memory proportionally to the average request rate for each process. We're using several metrics to measure the performance of serving systems, including latency and throughput. We report the throughput, average request latency, average first token latency, and slow attainment. Slow attainment is the percentage of requests that return the first token in 6 seconds. We're also introducing a new metric called user satisfaction, which offers a more detailed analysis of the first token latency. A shorter first token latency gives a higher satisfaction. The satisfaction becomes zero if the first token latency exceeds the slow. We're generating synthetic workload traces using the gamma process. Given n adapters, the requests for adapter i are modeled using a gamma arrival process with a mean rate of lambda underscore i and a coefficient of variance, cv, of cv. The mean rate, lambda underscore i, follows a power law distribution with an exponent alpha. The total request rate for all adapters is r requests per second. For the N adapters, we set their ranks based on the list provided in a table in the original paper with a round-robin method. Our tests cover various combinations of N, alpha, R, and CV. For every request, the input and output lengths are sampled from uniform distributions U, I underscore L, I underscore U, and U, O underscore L, O underscore U, respectively. The default duration of a trace is 5 minutes. We're comparing S LoRa with both VLLM Pact and Hugging Face Peft for serving many LoRa adapters. S LoRa can serve 2000 adapters simultaneously, maintaining minimal overhead for the added LoRa computation. In contrast, VLLM Pact needs to maintain multiple weight copies and can only serve fewer than 5 adapters due to the GPU memory constraint. The throughput of VLLM Pact is also much lower due to the missed batching opportunity. Although PEFT can swap adapters between batches, enabling it to handle a large number of adapters, its lack of advanced batching methods and memory management results in significantly worse performance. Overall, S LoRa achieves a throughput up to 4x higher than VLLM Pact when serving a small number of adapters, and up to 30x higher than PEFT, while supporting a significantly larger number of adapters. Since no baseline system can efficiently scale to a large number of adapters, we're now focusing on comparing S LoRa with its own variants. S LoRa achieves noticeably higher throughput and lower latency compared to its variants. This implies that our memory pool and custom kernels are effective. When the number of adapters increases, the throughput of S LoRa initially experiences a slight decline due to the overhead introduced by LoRa. However, once the number of adapters reaches a certain threshold, e.g., 100 in most experiments, the throughput of S LoRa no longer decreases. This stability can be attributed to the fact that as the number of adapters grows, the number of activated adapters for the currently running batch remains unchanged, maintaining a constant overhead. Consequently, S LoRa can scale to a much larger number of adapters without incurring additional overhead, constrained only by the available main memory. Section Summary the paper describes the setup and model configurations used for testing the LAMA model series, as well as the hardware settings and baselines used for benchmarking. The metrics used to measure the performance of serving systems are also discussed, including latency, throughput, and slow attainment. The results show that S LoRa outperforms other systems in terms of throughput and scalability, with minimal overhead for the added LoRa computation. Section. End-to-end -end results on real workloads. 
We've taken real-world data from the LMSYS chatbot arena, a site that hosts multiple large language models, LLMs, and used it to create serving traces. Although the original data doesn't specifically focus on LoRa adapters, we've treated the distribution of different base models as if they were different adapters of a single base model. We've then sampled this data to create traces with varying request rates and durations. In our sampling, we've taken a number of requests equal to the request rate times the duration from the original data and adjusted the timestamps to fit within a duration range. The number of models corresponds to the number of adapters. We've set the adapter ranks using a round robin method. In our real world trace, there are no parameters such as alpha, lambda, or CV. We've set the duration to 5 minutes and adjusted the request rate to study its impact on performance metrics. On average, the input length is 85 tokens, the output length is 165 tokens, and there are about 26 adapters. Our results show that our system, SLORA, performs strongly with real world workloads, similar to synthetic workloads. We've also tested the scalability of our tensor parallelism strategy using Llama 30B and Llama 70B on 2 and 4A100 GPS with varying numbers of adapters. The results show that the added LoRa communication in our strategy has a very small overhead. In fact, the communication overhead due to LoRa is less than the computational overhead it introduces. When we increased the number of GPUs from 2 to 4, the serving throughput increased by more than two times. This is because the system is predominantly memory bound, and adding more GPUs alleviates memory constraints, leading to superlinear scaling. We've also compared S-LoRa, which does not merge adapter weights and computes LoRa matrices on the fly each time, with an alternative design that merges an adapter with the base model. The alternative design is efficient for a small number of adapters due to the reduced LoRa computation overhead. However, its performance declines with more than two adapters, primarily because of the time-consuming switch between adapters. We've also compared S-LoRa's early abort strategy to first-come-first-serve, FCFS, and last-come-first-serve, LCFS, for optimizing user satisfaction and slow attainment. S-LoRa abort outperforms both, especially as CV scales. In terms of related work, many specialized serving systems for the transformer architecture have been developed. These systems use advanced batching mechanisms, memory optimizations, GPU kernel optimizations, model parallelism, parameter sharing, and speculative execution for efficient serving. However, these systems do not consider generative inference. A very large number of adapters or large models go beyond a single GPU, so they do not address the problems in our settings. In addition to system-level improvements, inference efficiency can be enhanced using algorithm techniques like quantization, sparsification and model architecture improvements. These approaches can reduce memory consumption and accelerate the computation, with a minor compromise in model quality. Recent work has developed methods for parameter-efficient fine-tuning of large pre-trained language models. These methods show fine-tuning is possible with only a small fraction of tuned parameters. The state-of-the-art methods include LoRa, prefix tuning, p-tuning, prompt tuning, Adalora, and ea cubed. While our paper focuses on LoRa due to its wide adoption, most techniques can be easily applied to other parameter-efficient fine-tuning methods as well. Over the years, the domain of general model serving has seen significant advancements. Notable systems from earlier research include Clipper, TensorFlow Serving, Nexus, Inferline, and Clockwork. These systems delve into topics such as batching, caching, and model placement, catering to both individual and multiple model deployments. In more recent developments, DVA Batch, Reef, Shepard and Alpha Serve have explored the ideas of multi-entry multi-exit batching, preemption, and statistical multiplexing with model parallelism. Although these systems have made significant contributions, they overlook the auto-regressive characteristics and parameter-efficient adapters in LLM serving, leading to potential optimization gaps.